hi guys welcome back so in this tutorial i'm going to show you where to get some good cool brushes from to enhance your photos and some stock images as well um, and it just helps to bring your photos to life so the effect that i want to achieve in this picture they're kind of jumping away so i want to get like an, an explosion in the background going on so I'm going to just show you a few things on how I'd go about finding um, the right resources to do that. Uh, one of the places then, if you go into Google, um, I want an explosion. So I just type into Google. Oops, sorry, let me just get back to Google. Okay. I'm just going to type explosion and then at the end, PNG. Now, sometimes, not always, this brings up Im images ideal for using in Photoshop because they don't have a background attached. So, I've clicked, I've typed in Explosion PNG. I'm going to click on Images. Um, not all of them work, by the way. Some of them will still have backgrounds attached, so you do need to check that. Um, but I'm going to go for this colourful one here, and then I'm going to click on it. Now, when I've clicked on it, you can see um, lots of little squares in the background and that means this does not have a background which makes it ideal to use in Photoshop. So, I'm just going to view image, right click, save image as and save that to my desktop. Okay, that's done. In the same way that I did before, I'm going to do file, open, choose my explosion and that will open in a different tab then I'm going to do Control and A Control and C so that selects it all C copies it I'm going to flick to my image and then I'm going to do Control and V and you can see that's gone in there very tiny so I do Control and T hold down shift and select a corner and I'm going to stretch that out Okay. and I want that behind them so I'm just going to move it right down until that's gone behind them and stretch that out a bit further I think as well okay so obviously it's not the right colour but you can use the techniques that I showed you in the previous tutorial um, to play around with that when you need to um, I might not use this in my final photo, but I just wanted to show you how you go about doing that. Another technique we can use to add to the photo are brushes. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you now where to find some nice brushes and how to add those in to, um, into your Photoshop. So, if you go on to, back to Google again, and you type in www.deviantart.com Some of you may have heard of this website. It's a really nice community for uh, digital artists and a lot of people post free stock you can use. So like the smoke, uh, the explosion effect I just found on Google. You can also search for things like that in here. And if you just type in, for example, fire stock, you'll see there's some images come up there and those are for you, available for you to use. Um, but I've, sh I've shown you some stocks and you can get some more off of this website as well. One that um, we're going to do on here is search for brushes. So I'm going to type in smoke brush because I know I'll need some smoke. So as you can see here you get absolutely loads of options so let's have a look at this one real smoke okay so this is like um, the kind of smoke if you've got a cigarette so that's not the one I'm going to go for for now but it'll give you if you can see this picture here an effect like this which looks pretty cool that uh, I want more of explosive smoke let's have a look this one might do it Perfect. So, um, let's have a look. 
just check as well because there's a program called GIMP which is very similar for, to Photoshop that it's free and um, so just make sure once you click on one make sure whichever program you're using and um, Photoshop make sure it's compatible and it normally tells you in the information here so this one does say Photoshop smoke and cloud in one brush okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to down click on download some of them you do have to pay for, so just be mindful of that. Um, so, and then once I've done that, it'll come, oops, sorry, it'll go into your downloads folder, wherever that might be. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to do extract here. Okay, so once you've opened it and extracted, the bit that we need is the brushes so it's the brushes always end in dot a b r um so i'm going to cut that now i can never ever remember where my photoshop save so let's have a look um let's try Ah, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so let me just go back through that with you. So find wherever your Photoshop is saved. So mine is under Adobe Photoshop CX6. Again, Photoshop CX6. Oh, sorry. No. So it's Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS6 and then presets. And then in there there's a folder called brushes. So you've cut you copy your original file out of your downloads. So to do that I just did oops, control and C uh, on the .abr file and then in your presets go into brushes and then do control and V. Uh, so take note of what it's called. So it mine's called smoke brush and smudge dot abr. Okay. Once we've done that, back into Photoshop and click on the brush tool on the left hand side. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do down here, there's a little button. Um, it just looks like a little palette almost. It's right at the bottom of my screen. Um, sometimes it sits up here, around here, if you can't find it. Anyway, once you've got this up, we're going to press load and it will bring up your preset list. And then I'm going to go right down and mine was called um, Smoke Brush and Smudge. So I'm going to select that and then click load. And that, sorry, it's hard to tell in mine because I've got so many brushes in here that it's here. That's put that in for me. It usually goes right to the bottom. And then I'm going to click done. Then in here, this is all your different brushes. I've got absolutely loads in, so it's quite hard to spot. Uh, but eventually, with a little bit of looking, let's have a look, it was 72. It will be somewhere in your brushes and it's just going to take me a little bit of finding because I've got so many where is it so this could be it okay oh no it's not this is not it, but it's similar. Um, yours will be in there and you'll probably have an easier job of finding it than me because I've got a hundred different brushes in there. So once you've found it anyway, what you're going to do is do a layer, new layer. It's really important you do everything on new layers. So if it goes wrong, it's only the last little bit that's gone wrong and all the rest of your layers are safe. Um, and for this, I'm going to 
and let's see, make my brush bigger. It's on black at the minute. And then as you can see, oops, sorry, let me just go back. My opacity. Make sure at the top your opacity is on 100% as well or it'll happen like that way you can hardly see it. So then you've got your brush selected where, wherever it is and then once you start clicking you can see your smoke effect. This is only rough obviously I do that a lot neater and um, one thing as well that I like to do change this from your background eraser tool just to normal eraser tool and it's good if you just select the same or a very similar brush and turn down the strength a little bit and then you can delete a little bit away so it's that's i think that's a little bit too strong still you can make some really cool uh smoky kind of effects by doing that by just swapping between a razor tool And, um, and the brush tool give, give some really good smoky effects like that just push out there, just make it a bit more realistic um, so, and basically that's it you just need to think about what kind of brushes and there are brushes for literally everything you could use smoke, you could use fire you could use some more stock images which I'm probably going to do in the final edit of this um, and yeah, just just kind of remember when you're when you've added stock image like this for example use your hue and saturation just to tone it down a little bit so i'm just going to take a little bit of color out of that create my clipping mask and just darken that up a little bit to suit the rest of my picture and um, it's it's important that your tones are the same because uh, it just adds a bit of realism to your photograph but this is just a really quick tutorial on how to find brushes and stock and add them into your photo i hope you found that helpful you've got all the tools now you need to create some amazing work and um, green screening i hope you enjoyed it i'd love to see your work so do send links to that um, and good luck any questions at all about the video or anything's not clear um, I know it was a bit clumsy in parts because I always forget where my Photoshop files are saved um, but any questions do leave me a message thanks a lot guys and good luck with your art